I had to get a catheter. They stick a tube up your dick. And, uh, yeah, you're too young for this shit, huh? And, um, you're asleep when they put it in, but you're awake when they take it out. And it really hurts. And the guy's pulling it, and I'm going, fuck, the tube hurts. And he said, Robert, the tube does not hurt. I said, yes, it does. He said, it's probably the balloon that you feel. I said, what balloon? He said, we blow a balloon up inside of you so the tube doesn't slip out. Who blows the balloon up? I have a 17 year old daughter that's uh, from my first marriage, but she lives with my new wife and I because she wants to fuck this marriage up. And uh, she is doing something. She's telling me shit about sex that not only did I not know what that was when I was 17, I don't know what she's talking about now. She comes home and says, uh, I was at a party and these girls were wearing different colored lipsticks and they go down on a guy and whoever gets the lowest color is the winner. And I'm like, well, what time's that going to? Whoever gets the lowest colors, the winner, like there's a fucking loser in this game. <laughs> and then I tell one of my friends, and he goes, you let your daughter go to parties like that? And I said, I didn't know it was that kind of party. And he said, aren't you afraid she's doing that too? And I said, nah, she would never do that. How do you know? Well, I know her mom. <laughs> Minneapolis is far, far from the tree, and uh, I was married to the tree for 29 years. She would never do it, not, not even on the honeymoon. And I figured, okay, here's what I'll do. I'm not going to ask her to do it. It's, it's fucked up if you have to ask. So I'll just do her and get her all revved up and everything, and then maybe she'll reciprocate. So that's one of the uh, downsides of having a positive attitude. So. I'm working my way down her stomach and I turn my body in and swing my hips around so I'm like dangling over her face because I'm thinking that if she thinks the way I do it'll be like, hey, there's a dick, maybe I'll suck it. But, you know, that didn't come out the right way. I, uh, that's not what I do. I don't want to do that, you pee out of there. Yeah, what do you think comes out of you? Birthday cake? <laughs> if I pee out of my ear, will you suck my dick? Because I'll pay to get the surgery to make it happen. <laughs> you pee out of there. Fuck. I said, hey, at least if you go down on me, my balls are blocking my asshole. I don't get that luxury with you. <laughs> so, uh... My daughter. I go in her bedroom, I see a picture of her. She goes to Santa Monica High and picture of her with two of her girlfriends and three guys and they're all doing this hand signal thing. And I'm like, you're not like in a gang or something, are you? And she's like, oh, you don't know what that is? Yeah, the shocker. That's the shocker. And I found out how it got its name. Because when your little girl tells you that that means two in the pink and one in the stink, it's pretty fucking shocking. Almost heart stopping, actually. I'm gonna go to the movies with my friends. Yeah, who, the girls from the blowjob contest? She said, Dad, come on, it's a movie. What can happen at the movies? Well, when I was 17, I remember poking a hole in the bottom of the popcorn cup and sticking my dick up in there. And that's why your Uncle Jeff doesn't talk to me.